Hi, hello and welcome again to another edition of Sports Updates Ghana. It's your boy Joseph Adam of you bringing in the latest updates in sports. Well, coming up in this edition, Ghana Football Association have appointed some former players of the Black Stars, i.e. Lai Kingston and Fatal Dalda as coaches for Ghana's youth side. We want to stick and stay as I bring you up to speed on the latest happening in sports as well as Coach Samuel Boedo has been appointed as Ghana's under 20 head coach. Well, also coming up, former Ghana Football Association chairman, that is Dr. Nyao Nyao Tamaklo, has called for the appointment of Chris Hutton as Ghana's Black Stars head coach. More coming up here on Sports Updates Ghana. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get straight into it. So, the Ghana Football Association on Monday announced the appointment of some new coaches for Ghana's under 17 and under 20 teams. For the under 17 team that we are going to start with, well, Coach Karim Zitu was named as the new head coach of Ghana's under 17 side, popularly known as the Black Starlets. Well, he will be assisted by former Black Stars player Lai Kisson, as well as former Crafts of Foot player Jacob Netty, with Jerry Asari being the goalkeeper's trainer, making up the under 17 technical team for the youth side. Well, what do we know about Karim Zito? Karim Zito was formerly the head coach of Dreams FC and that is how Karim has had a good relationship of, with Ghana's GFA president, that is Ket Okreku and that has won him a number of um, appointments in his term. Well, for Karim Zito, he led Ghana to win the under 20 uh, Afghan some few years ago with the likes of Daniel Free Bani as captain. You also have Patao Isako in that team. You also have Matthew Nim Kuju as well as Danlad Ibrahim. After that exploit, well, they were not able to go to the World Cup as a result of the coronavirus which forced the tournament to be postponed. Well, he was recently appointed as Ghana's under 17 coach and currently has Laikinson as his deputy. Well, what about Laikinson? What do we know about Laikinson? He's very popular because he played for Ghana's Black Stars where he played for the national team on a number of occasions making several appearances. Unfortunately, he couldn't play at the World Cup with the Black Stars. But as a winger, Laikinson did a number of things. He played for Hearts of Folk before bringing his career to an end. After he retired from football, well, Lai Kirsten managed to enroll himself in some coaching courses and was able to get his coaching certificate and has been working behind the shadows for clubs like FC Nordjylland as well as Right to Dream where he was recently at until his appointment as Ghana's under 17 assistant coach. Well, for Jacob Netty, who is also a former player of Accra House of Folk, well, he has also been working behind the shadows as a coach and has also gotten his appointment to be part of the assistant coaches of Ghana's under 17 team. Well, what about him? Well, what we know about him is that he was part of a crowd of folks team that won the CAF Champions League in the 2000s. Well, finally, the one and only that is Jerry Asari was also appointed as the goalkeeper's trainer. He's also popular for his heroics as a Ghanaian goalkeeper well away from the under 17 let's talk about the under 20 that's the black satellite and a new coach has been appointed for them and guess who is the new coach of the black satellite it is none other than former hearts of folk coach that is Samuel Boydou Samuel Boydou is the head coach of the black satellite as appointed by the Ghana Football Association so for coach Samuel Boydou he'll be assisted by Desmond Ofer as well as Sadi Fatao and Fatao Dauda, Ghana's former goalkeeper, is now the goalkeeper's trainer of Ghana's under 20 men's team that is the Black Satellite. So, these are the technical men for Ghana's under 20 team. For some of Boydou, he needs no introduction after making a number or achieving a number of exploits with Hearts of Folk, where he won about five titles within the Ghana Premier League after a long period that Hearts of Folk were unable to win the Ghana Premier League. He came in to break the jeans. He won the MTN FA Cup back to back, President's Cup back to back, he won the Super Cup as well. And he is the only Guardian coach to have defeated Morocco's coach, that is Walid Regagui, who is currently leading them at the 2022. FIFA World Cup. I guess he didn't know that. Well, Samuel Boydou is the only coach in Ghana to have defeated the Moroccan head coach at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. He was formerly the head coach of Wydad Club and let's get the met in the CAF Champions League. Well, away from Samuel Boydou, let's talk about his deputies. Well, I don't know much about his deputies, but for Fatal Dada, he's also a man that he needs new introduction because Fatal Dada was formerly the 
Black Stars number one goalkeeper at the 2014 World Cup where he kept two games for the Black Stars. Unfortunately, the Black Stars were unable to progress out of the group stages. But for Fatal Dada, well, he has played for clubs in South Africa. He returned to uh, Ghana uh, recently to play for Lagos Cities, but he has also had stints in Nigeria with Enyama and well we all know what he was able to do with Ashgo where he won the Ghana Premier League with Ashgo so it's a goalkeeper who needs new, no introduction well after calling time on his career Fatal Dada also managed to get his coaching certificate and that is how come he has been able to end this appointment as Ghana's under 20 goalkeepers trainer well he was recently with Right to Dream where he was working with the Venot uh, team but well since his appointment as Ghana's under 20 goalkeeper's trainer, I hope that maybe he will fully focus as being the goalkeeper's trainer of Ghana's under 20 side. Well, after the uh, appointment of this coach, some people were calling and uh, asking about, well, what about Sami Eje? Why is Sami Eje not being appointed? Well, Sami Eje is currently with Kempong Academy and well, he's there with the likes of Otia Kenton and James Kwesi Apia, the former Black Stars coach well away from the youth side let's talk about ghana senior national team the black stars well the former ghana football association chairman that is dr nyao nyao tamaklu has called for the appointment of chris Hutton as the replacement for coach otoado when it comes to the black stars job well coach otoado left the scene as black stars head coach after ghana's exit from the 2022 fifa world cup as the black stars won one match and lost two games to uruguay and portugal at the 2022 fifa world cup group stages well from lowing ghana's exit from the tournament coach otoado exited the scene and well ghana is looking for a new coach and dr nyao nyao tamaklu who is the first former gfa official to have called for the appointment of chris Houston, believes that the former um english premier league coach is one of the coaches who has the standard and requirement to fill the spot for the blasters when it comes to the head coach department according to him he believes that chris hutton is well qualified and he has vast experience after coaching a number of clubs in the english premier league and even baffles him that coach otoado was appointed as head coach with him being the um, technical advisor to coach otoado and he says that now that coach otoado is no more the the next right coach for ghana to appoint as Chris Hutton and I believe that that is the right thing to do because I felt like it was an insult to uh, appoint Coach Otoado instead of Chris Hutton because at the end of the day Coach Otoado didn't have enough experience and it was Chris Hutton who came in there with a better CV as compared to Coach Otoado has never coached any uh, football team in history well he used Ghana as a CV and has raised his CV we'll see how that one go back the GFA president Keto Kweku says that the Ghana Football Association are not in a rush to appoint a replacement for coach Otoado when it comes to the blasters but I hope that they'll consider Chris Hutton as the probable coach for the blasters because the blasters are preparing to go and play their AFCON 2024 qualifiers which continues in 2023 well we're monitoring the space to bring you up to speed on all that here on sports updates can until then my name is joseph adam a few and thanks for doing the watching please subscribe if you haven't like share and don't forget to leave a comment i'm out